We're talking about celebrity appearances and endorsements. And specifically in this segment, we're going to talk about knowing the right doors to enter. Most celebrities, particularly actors, have an agent, a publicist, and a manager. It's important to understand the distinction between each and their role in the celebrity's life in order to know what door to enter and send the request depending on what it is that you have to offer. Keep in mind that an agent of a celebrity, their job is to get their celebrity clients work. Think of it as an employment bureau, if you will. A manager, on the other hand, looks at the celebrity's big picture, their, their career from the big picture standpoint, and manages more of the day-to-day -day life um, concerns and questions of a celebrity. A publicist, on the other hand, their job is to promote any project that the celebrity might be uh, working on or to uh, make sure that their celebrity client is still remains in the best light in the public eye. The agent and managers are paid on a percentage and a percentage of nothing is nothing. Therefore, if you have a charity request, the right door to enter is through the publicist who gets paid a flat rate on a monthly basis regardless of whether the celebrity is paid or not. A manager and agent gets paid a percentage. It could be anywhere from 10 to 20 percent of what the celebrity makes. Um, so keep that in mind that their job is trying to get their celebrity for the most amount of money possible. So when it comes to having a particular request go to a celebrity, keep in mind that if you have a commercial endorsement deal, that should go through the agent. If you have a charity request, that should go through the publicist. And if a celebrity does not have a publicist, go through the manager. The um, relationships are also very, very important in terms of dictating what door to enter. In my company, because we've been doing this for so long at the Celebrity Source, we have relationships with celebrities directly in addition to their representatives. So sometimes we may go direct to a celebrity with a request, or even though we might go um, through uh, a publicist um, or an agent. We might also show it to the celebrity just so they know what's going on, but we don't want to step on any toes, so we will go through the right door. Um, but if they're holding on to that request too long and we haven't gotten an answer, we might use our relationships to get a speedier response. So relationships are very important. They, they get people to return your phone calls, and that's what I, I like to think that's why people do return our phone calls. But again, keep in mind, you've got to enter the right door for the appropriateness of, of that, whatever the request is that you're sending over. First of all, you certainly do not want to send a request to a celebrity directly. We're able to do that because they know us, but they're not going to respond to unsolicited mail, even if there are lists that are posted on the, on the internet or, or printed lists. Uh, don't send a celebrity uh, a request directly if they don't know you. Keep in mind, again, be appropriate with what door you enter for what kinds of requests. Paid requests should go through the agent, non-paid requests through the publicist.